The next actor I'm going to talk about is Matthew Proderick. He is my third I'm favorite. Having trouble connecting to the internet. Check your Wi-Fi network connection by going to settings. My tablet is still talking to me. <laughs> anyway, um, Matthew Proderick is. Uh, he, I, I own not as many as Tom Hanks and Matthew Bro and uh, Rob Williams. Uh, I only own 14 movies with him in it. Um, when I was trying to think of a favorite movie with him in it, um, I struggled. <laughs> I'm like, I like a lot of his movies that I've seen, and I like all the movies I own. It's just trying to find that one that I like more than others, that I've, like, Dead Poets Society run into the ground. Uh, like, The Greatest Showman run into the ground. Uh, and it's really hard to find sometimes a movie like that or one that just, when I think of him, pops into my, my head. Or when I think of that movie, he pops into my head. Um, as I've said before, I tend to not watch rated R movies. I have seen like five my whole entire life. Never in the theater. They're always at home. Uh, and most of the time, except for one exception, I was at someone else's house. <laughs> The one exception is actually the Matthew Braddock movie I'm about to mention, that is Glory. I have loved Glory ever since I was like 9 or 10, I saw it on TV, it was edited, and he became my first Hollywood crush. Um, he, I also really like Lion King, but kind of like with Rapunzel and Aladdin and stuff like that, I tried for this list to stay away from the animated movies, because it's just them talking or whatever. The movie is good, but it's just their voice, so it's not really, like, them acting. It is, but it isn't. Anyway, um, <laughs> you don't see them act. You just hear them act. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And so, uh, but so I was trying, racking my brain to try to think of this non-rated R movie uh, I like with Matthew. He's probably best well-known for playing Ferris Bueller and Ferris Bueller's Day Off, um, it's probably the role that he will be known for the rest of his life, and I don't think he has that big of an issue with that. There are some people who kind of do have an issue with that, but but not him. I don't, you know, I've never heard him say anything, but you know, he enjoyed that role and he's glad he was able to play it. Um, I do kind of get a little giddy when it comes to him. I mean, he, he's 56 years old, and in all honesty, he's still not that bad looking. I, my opinion of like attractiveness, fullness, and a man and a guy. What I'm attracted to is probably not what most women are, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, something I also really like about Matthew is that he does seem to be pretty uh, approachable. Um, he has a reputation of being nice and all that. I mean, Tom Hanks does too, but I've met someone who met who who knows Tom Hanks, and that's not exactly accurate. But anyway. Um, and, you know, Hugh Jackman has that reputation too. I mean... I personally think there's everybody is is good or whatever has that approach has that sweetness has that persona in them, and I'm gonna believe that that's you know they have that unless I meet them and they prove me differently. But um, and there's some people who like when I met Scarlett Johansson, I thought she was gonna be a snob and a brat, and she wasn't. She was pretty down to earth. This is about Matthew Broderick. Um, so. The non-rated R movie I decided to go with was Infinity, which is not one that I think really stands the test of time, but I really liked it. I thought it was sweet. I thought it was lovely. I thought it was cute. Um, I thought it was informative. I thought it was interesting. It kept my my it held my interest the whole time. Maybe. Um, I do kind of get giddy though, like I said earlier, with Matthew because I have this. Not not with any other actor, just him. I had this, that's you! If I, like, see his name on the screen or I see him or, or something, like a movie, like I'll be in the theater and, like, he'll come on and I'm like, that's you! I say it really quietly to, <laughs> to myself. Um, he, you know, so I still get super excited over him. And uh, with, the like, all my, my, like, I'd say top ten favorite male actors, if I see that their name is in the movie or if I see that they're in the movie, if their name is in the billing <laughs> and it's not a rated R movie, it will get me into the theater. Um, and so he's definitely one of those as well. 